Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. So I'll bring you out that way. Like that. I'll lower you down there. And we will start driving up here. I think that's a bit better, actually. That's closer to the edge of our mini-map there. So I'm just going to let it slow down. I'm not going to turn the corner or anything. And if you just press escape on here, is it... It's not showing up. Why aren't you showing up? Does it have to update? Ah, it takes a minute or two for it to update. But now it's a little bit close to the edge and that's a bit more like it. So we'll run it there. Fieldstone is all turned off now, so we don't have that being turned up. And yeah, I was actually, I gotta say, I was genuinely surprised at the number of people that said, please turn off the Fieldstone, we don't want it. Um, genuinely surprised by the number of people that said that you don't like it. And I know that there are some of you that have said, no, you should keep it because this is supposed to be a hardcore series. And if you get rid of these things, it makes it less of a hardcore series. And yes, I do kind of agree with that. Um, but I'm back to the paradox that I have previously talked about in that it's very difficult to make everybody happy. And this was pointed out, I said before, you know, what sort of things would you like to see in this series? And I had several answers, but I did also have some people say, well, what's the point in us answering? Because you never really do what we ask you to do anyway. I do... And I don't. I cannot do every suggestion that every person gives because it's simply not possible to do that. I also need to maintain a balance between what I try and do in the game here and... Um, oh, I don't want to fold. I want to I do that. There we go. Um... I'm trying to maintain a balance as well with the gameplay and it's going to struggle here because of the hill, I think. So it's it's really not easy to sort of keep everybody happy. And I definitely do want to use a lot of your ideas. Right, I don't think we actually need to use the GPS on this bit. It was mainly for that straight line back there that I wanted to use GPS. So I'm going to not necessarily have a dead straight line here. And what I'm also going to do is I am going to use a little bit of our free landscaping ability just here on this bit because it's too high a lump. So we're going to go here. Right, I genuinely do try to use as many suggestions as I can from people. But I've also got to take your suggestions and make sure that I achieve a balance with what an individual's suggestions are and what people want as a collective group. Because if I take one person's suggestions and I only use those, uh, it's going to end up being that a lot of people, a lot of other people who are watching, are going to start thinking, well, actually, no, I don't really like this. It's, it's all sort of going one particular direction I don't particularly like it so I've got to achieve this balance between what everybody is asking for okay I think that's about right there we go let's see how that works out so I'm leaving those lines on I've got a little bit too much of an angle just here which I wanted to bring round into more of a, a curve but it's it's rather difficult to do with this tractor. Although it does work. And here we don't want to have the edge of the field. 
set as a dead straight line, I don't think. I think that's not going to look so good. But what I am going to do is, because, oh, he is already ploughing. That's why he was struggling to lift. I'm going to just patch this bit out in a, in a minute. I'm doing it like this because I want to be able to actually just plough this piece. You know what? This is this is a pig's ear of a job, this is. So what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to change this a little bit. Um, we're going to go back into here. I probably shouldn't be ploughing quite so close to this slope here, but I'm already committed now. I've, I've made a mistake. I've learned that this, this is indeed a mistake and I, I shouldn't have done it, but uh, I've done it now, so we're going to have to live with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like push that down a bit over here. There. I'm going to push it down a bit going back into the side of the hill. Then we're going to switch to this one. And we're going to blend everything out and smooth it down like that as much as I possibly can over that whole area. Like that. This actually worked fairly well. Alright. Uh, right, what have we got here? It's this bit here. There's a bit right there that sort of doesn't seem quite right. I want to actually lower this down a little bit. In here like this, and then spread that out a bit more and that will lower this that could end up being a bit of a mistake lowering it that much so now what I will do I'll bring it back up again I'm hoping that this is a little bit better now I've made the slope hopefully a little bit better we will see we're gonna start we're gonna carry on up this way so tractors bouncing around a lot just there because that's the edge of the plowed land at least that's what I'm hoping and I haven't got some obscene pit right in the middle of it I could have that is also a possibility uh, we will find that out when we come back round in a few more passes it's really struggling here yeah put a pedal to the metal grandad and then you'll be fine actually I'm not a grandad so before anybody starts suggesting that I am it hasn't happened yet uh, although actually couple more years and that could could very well be a thing and I will bring this back over here so I don't want to go up the side of the slope because unfortunately the game really 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 struggles with the curve of the land like that so you have to you, you've got to avoid it at all costs so that's what we're going to do i'm going to bring you around here this tractor really is not strong enough for this plow at all it's absolutely not suitable for this plow i need something a bit bigger than this Either that or I need to sell the plough and buy one that's a little bit smaller and a bit more suitable for this tractor. Both options don't really appeal to me because that sort of, I don't know, just smacks of being a little bit too sensible and I'm, I'm just not like that. Right, let's, whoop, 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 whoop. right. let's stop there and then... I'm just going to go and run around the edge a second. I know that you don't like watching these, so I'm actually not going to um, show you. I'm just going to quickly tidy up the edge just a little bit with any bits I think are sticking out that shouldn't be. 
let's just tidy up those little bits and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit with the plow just there like that and then back round this way so I want to do control S and rotate that one 90 degrees and it's actually the wrong way round so I need to do that one two more 90s two like that so then we have the set on the correct side and you wouldn't normally need to worry about that it's only because we've got plowing that we're doing that we actually need to worry about it so I'm going to bring you back up to here drop you in there and then start driving and he will fill in all of that gap. So there's a couple stones there on that bit that were turned over previously. I don't know if they are there to stay. Now I'll turn the stone off. They shouldn't have any effect on us. But I don't know what they will do visually. Whether or not they will stay there or eventually disappear. Um, whether we come back and we plow them up again. So I will, we'll wait and see on that one. Um... I'm interested to see what you're all going to say about me turning off the stone. I know that several of you have asked me a number of times to turn off the stone because you hate the stone quite passionately. Um, doesn't really seem to do anything. It just seems sort of a little bit of a, a pointless exercise having it there. And yeah, it's, it's more a frustration than anything else because... In real life, you don't need to be removing stone on that kind of scale. And right there is... I, I thought there was a ridiculous dip there somewhere. I'm going to have to get rid of that, which means I've got to go back over and plow it again. Let me deal with that a second. This is why I like to have free landscaping. That's why I don't like paying for landscaping, because... Just a little bit like this can end up costing you quite a bit of money. Because in order to make it work properly, you, you have to sort of go through a process to remove a dip like that. Because this soften function is broken. I cannot understand why it's been broken for this version. Right? In FS19, it worked perfectly. If there was a dip in the ground and you softened over the top of it, it brought that dip up to the level of the surrounding area, as well as lowered the dip in other areas. So why don't why doesn't it do that now? I I, I know there's nobody from Giants going to be watching my video, but Giants, if you're watching my video, why did you do that? And I love you guys. I think you've produced an amazing game. And I really genuinely love it. But what was the thought process behind altering the soften function to make it only half work? Like, seriously, it's like, it's like you decided that, well, this is a really good thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So what we'll do is we will break it. So then we can go along and fix it later. So we will remove half of the function so that, yeah, it's, it's then broken. Why? What? I, there was never an instance when I was using the soften, this track, this tractor is really not for this plow, is it? Um, there was never an instance when I was using the soften function in FS19 where I thought, it's really annoying that it brings the ground up and lowers the ground down. Never once did I have any kind of frustration with that in any way, shape or form. And yet, you've now gone and removed that and it frustrates me every time. I mean, that is the main reason that I just don't like using the landscaping tools now and having to pay for them at the same time. Because there's only one way to override the soft. The soften function is like the most important part of the landscaping tools. And half of the functionality of it has been removed. So 
the only way to correct something is to go through a long and arduous process, which, if you're paying for it through normal means, is just ridiculously expensive. And therefore, it's kind of broken an aspect of the game, which means that I'm sort of being... I, I know I'm not actually being forced, but yeah, I, I would, you know, use... The, it seems like a strong word to, to, to use to describe it. Um, but yeah, I, I would say I'm being forced into the position where I've got to go and use a mod to remove the cost of landscaping because the soften function has been deliberately broken. And I just don't understand the logic of that. I just cannot get my head around the logic of deliberately breaking that soften function in the way that it has been broken. It just does not compute. But anyway, I, I'll, I'll stop whining about that now. Um, we got most of the edge done that I want to do. I just want to do another pass down the... Uh, well, I'm doing another pass down here. This is all I'm going to need to do down this side. And bring that one down to there like that. And then we will go up, run up along here. So I go Alt X, I can join that one in already. And we can bounce around up to this point, and then we can plow. Plowing again doesn't get rid of the stones that are showing. I don't know if we need to actually remove those stones that are showing, even though we've now turned off stone. I, I'm, I'm not sure if turning off the stone just stops new stone from showing up, or if it also works with old stone. There's no way of knowing that unless I do a whole load of experimentation. I don't really want to do a whole load of experimentation with it. So we'll bring you on round this way and we will do another pass here. I think I only really need to do one more pass here and then this bit's done as well. So we'll just go along this top end and I don't really need to do one going up the other side. And this is where we can start working on just opening up the field. By actually getting the ploughing work done. So we could start, we, well we could carry on from the long side that we've already started. Or we can go here. So this one right here. Bring you down here. Now if I'm going to go on this side, I actually need to be ploughing this way. So I'm, I'm thinking... Yeah, I do want to do this. So what we're going to need to do is I want to go into here and I'm actually going to have to rotate that one around twice like that. Could do the automatic offset reversal or something like that, but I don't want to do that. So I will line you up. I'll drop the plow in there. And trying to line himself up and just get that first line done down through there. Right, that's perfect. And now I can move over to the next one. So, can, uh, Alt X to line that one up. Drop it down, do the next one. There are different versions that you can use. If you don't have a snap to grid on this one, you can have this line, the GPS line set pretty much any direction you want to. I don't generally like to do it like that, though. Bring you back again. Do another one. To come out of it, you can press Alt X or you can just turn your steering wheel or keyboard steering, whatever it is that you're using. Controller. I know some of you use uh, like an Xbox controller or something like that hooked up to your PC so that you can do it. Some of you get on really well with that. I don't. I have tried playing this game on an Xbox. I just don't get on with using a controller for it. I can do racing games with a controller, but for some reason I really struggle with this game. I don't know, actually, I, I'm not quite sure why. I'm, I'm sure there must be some weird and wonderful explanation there somewhere, but no, I, I, I don't actually know why I struggle with it on this one. And uh, let's get to there. I think we're going to need to go all the way down to the other end of the field. Well, maybe not. I've got a slight sort of 
in curve on this bit, which isn't a bad thing. I like to have um, slightly odd, odd shaped fields. So I'm just going to lift you out there. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep going with this, just on this bit right here. Take it on a little bit further, just to add a little tiny bit more field for us. It's only a bit, it's not very much. And then we'll bring you down here. I think it will add another... No, it's not going to add another little bit at all. That is as... It's, it's right over to the very edge of it. So then we can bring this one up here. Now we get to the interesting bit. If I... I'll bring it over here and then you can have a look and see what happens. And we're not going to do masses more. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to speed this up to 15 times speed now. So that the time does start ticking away a little bit more. So if I bring it to there and then I press B and we rotate the plow. What it should also do is we've got the the line should now change to the opposite side. So that goes over to there. And I start moving. Now that I've turned... Actually, no, the line doesn't change to the opposite side. I go over here. The line stays the same way that it has been, doesn't it? Go on. If we didn't have a plow that rotates, like we've got at the moment, go on, you can do this. If we didn't have a plow that rotates like we have right here, then you'd want that setting automatic offset reversal. Because when you change direction on the headland, it would then automatically change the side that the tractor was driving on so that as you drive up and down the field, it keeps it going exactly as it is. So we bring this one up here like this. There, like that. And now I will bring that round. If I was to leave it as it is... So I'll, I'll bring it in here, and I'll, I'll bring the line up. See, the plow is, like, in completely the wrong place. So if we didn't have the... If the plow wasn't a reversible one... So that will now change directions, and that will go over there. If we couldn't do that bit with the plow, which is the important feature of a reversible plow, the, you know, reversible function, um, we would have a very weird-looking field. You'd, you'd be left with excuse me, stripes everywhere. So that's why you use the setting automatic offset reversal in the GPS. But we don't need to worry about that. There he is, our torpedo. Whizzing down across the field. What have I got planted at the moment? I've got OSR up in the field up there. Oil seed rape or canola, depending on your country of origin. And I've got barley in the field down there. I think I've got barley. I've only got one lot of fertilizer down there. I have got barley. So this field here... Well, it's a spring crop, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I was talking about this before. Um, we're going to do oats in this field if we're going to do anything. And I'll turn that one. I'm not going to be able to do anything with buying our chickens unless I go and buy some chicken. I'm actually tempted to do that. Like, if I was playing this myself, I wouldn't. I would simply wait until the harvest. I would sit here and I would do all the ploughing. But, as many people have pointed out, it does get a bit boring just watching the same job over and over. So, what I think we'll do is we'll do up and then we'll come back again. So that we've done two more strips on this. And then we will jump into our tractor. Not jump into. We'll leave the plough in the field and we'll have this tractor. And we'll rush over and we'll get our um, auto load trailer. Actually, we could get the other trailer. We don't want the auto load trailer for this job. We get the other trailer and we will go up to the dealership. And we will buy ourselves a few bags of wheat. Now, I don't really want to be doing that because I don't really want to be buying in feed for animals. I want us to be self-sufficient. But 
I'm gonna make I'm gonna do it because one we have got the money for it we can afford it we got 34,000 right there and yes technically I should be keeping that money for more important jobs I might want to get the um, log machine back again and log machine that the, the logging trailer that's quite an important and valuable tool but yeah I figure that we'll break it up a bit and also then we'll have chickens here which is going to give us a bit more to do than just sitting around twiddling our thumbs waiting for a crop to grow if this was a time-lapse series or something like that then I could just do that I could do the plowing and it would take me like an hour or so which is two standard episodes uh, but I wouldn't have to worry about that there would just be a little portion of one episode so I'm going to press Y and turn off the allow create fields I'm going to disable that. I'm going to lower the plow down and unhitch it right here in the field. I'm going to turn off the this Alt C to turn off the GPS entirely. And then I'm going to drive this way. And I'm going to go and get the orange trailer parked right there behind our combine. And I'm going to take that trailer up to the dealership and we're going to buy ourselves some grain which we're going to use for chickens. So we can potentially get 18,500 litres of grain in this trailer. I'm not going to get that much. That's a bit excessive. But I'd like to get enough to be able to get some chickens because then we can start having chickens. I do think that we should have to sell eggs periodically. I don't think that I'm going to put a time limit on when I have to sell the eggs because although eggs don't keep for very long and they don't, you know, they're not going to last very long, um, it's going to be a very, very boring playthrough if I spend 10 minutes out of every other episode driving off to sell eggs. So I'm not going to force that onto us. Whoa! I really should slow down a bit when I'm coming up to this junction. Just ignore the fact that I also drove into the wall. And pretend that didn't happen. Um, I'm trying to think about what we can do as uh, some random events. So one random event that I was thinking of is disease in our animals. So we're going to have pigs and we, we're going to be getting chickens. So. I roll a dice to see if, you know, to, to select what goes on with the um, illness. I uh, we'll, we'll, we'll roll dice to decide which animal is affected, and then we roll another dice, and so if I've got 100 chickens... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.